Hello fam, welcome back to the channel. This is Miss A, your classy beauty savvy, and welcome to a brand new video this week. And happy October, everyone. It's actually my birthday month, so I'm very excited to film new contents for you guys. And of course, bring you along with me sa mga celebrations na gagawin ko for my birthday month. So, for today's video, it will be super duper fun. It's a new learning I just recently acquired. And again, a sign or an evidence of learning is when the student becomes a teacher. So, today, I will share with you that specific learning and it will totally change the way you think about things and you treat people because this is an important, um, you know, concept or mindset to achieve or to to hone for you not to get hurt and for you to shield yourself from people's you know mga rejections or disapproval so this can hopefully change your mind about seeing things so i'll just hold my mic for now katulad ni Fonz, I'm channeling my inner Fonz kasi <laughs> ang awkward ilagay sa damit ng microphone ko. I don't know kasi nga medyo ma-lower yung neckline niya so I can't find a good spot. But for now, let me hold it and let's talk about that recent learning. If you watch my previous video, you could have at least, you know, have gotten the idea that I'll be talking about that today or this today. And it's all about the let them theory. So if you haven't watched my things I'm too old for at 34, I really suggest you watch that first. Para lang magkaroon kayo ng con context why I am making this video. So let's talk about the let them theory. This one is actually from a podcast of Mel Robbins. I would like to give her credit because she's a very good um what do you call that? Coach, life coach. And she has a podcast. And this is when I first heard about the Let Them Theory. Actually, this is not an entirely revo revolutionary or new concept. We know this for so long. Hindi lang natin siya na-apply sa buhay natin. And actually, ang galing nga ni Mel Robbins because she was able to put it into this kind of, you know, mindset or theory that everyone won't be able or won't um, forget it. So for me, ha, specifically, nung nalaman ko yung Let Them Fury, it really made me realize na that's a very good mindset to have. So if you are a control freak like I do, <laughs> I am a control freak. Uh, I like, you know, planning things. That's just my thing. And I like, you know, doing things na na first see ko na that will happen in the future so if i won't do it or i won't achieve it sa future it will somehow make me feel disappointed or i won't be able to function as well as much ganon so ganon akong klase ng tao so i like controlling my environment and somehow it leads me to controlling people whether i do that intentionally or unintentionally and that is not a good habit to oh, meron naga a degree dito sa tabi ko <laughs> and that is not a really good habit to have so if you are a control freak, these uh, Let Them Fury can actually help you have a peace of mind and just protect your heart from being disappointed and being hurt from all of the uncontrollable things that happen around us. So something that we should also remember is to achieve, in order for us to achieve peaceful, uh, you know, living or to achieve peace, we have to surrender according to Mel Robbins, which is so true, ha? Ako, I feel like if I'm too controlling now of my environment, of my things, of the I things that I can do, mga gusto kong ma-achieve, mga gusto kong makuha, um, nagiging restless ako, anxious ako, and I easily get disappointed and demotivated. So, if you can just do the let them theory in some in some cases, it will really help you have or achieve that peaceful mind mindset. So, eto, I have notes, that's why I'm looking down. So, I just don't want to miss important things. So, she actually created um, 
she actually created some very important pointers that we can ponder upon. Number one, she said, um, if your feelings are hurt, if you felt, if you feel like you're being let left out, you're not being included. So certain scenario, friends are not inviting you, people are not informing you about the things you should know, or you feel like you should know. You can apply the let them theory. So if you feel like you are being hurt by anyone from your family, friends, or small group of people that you you belong like your co-workers let them okay if they hurt you let them if you feel frustrated and annoyed by other people uh, doings or actions let them apply the let them theory um, if you have given advice to a friend but that particular friend did not even bother following that advice or still created the same mistake over and over. It can be a partner, a friend, or anyone in your life. Let them. And the last one, if there will be like certain layoffs in your company or other changes that will happen in the company and that's really out of your control, let them. So instead of us reacting negatively toward things, towards things, um, making things such a big deal, it's better to just apply the let them theory because this will actually, ang sabi ni Mel Robbins, the moment you start surrendering, the moment you let other people do what they want, or in certain scenarios, like what I've mentioned, if the moment you let them just do what they want to do with their lives, um, it will somehow eventually introduce you or reveal the kind of person they really are to you so for example they did not invite you in certain important occasions and you know that he you treat him or her as your friend but then hindi kanya in invite hindi kanya consider hindi kanya in inform um, there are secrets na certain group of people lang sa inyong friends, group of friends ang nakakaalam, and they left you out, hindi ka nila sinabihan about it, and they don't feel like it's important for you to know about it. Just let them. Because if it's gonna be an old Aryan um, we're talking about, if that will be old Aryan, I will definitely, you know, confront people i have that you know like attitude before pero hindi mas sobrang confrontational like it can be chaotic ha but i love asking people why they did that to me gusto ko lang malaman yung point of view nila so if that's the old aryan and not learning about the let them theory yet ganun yung gagawin ko i will ask them what happened why did they exclude me are they still friends with me? Do they want me? You know, like remember in that previous video I talked about, I, I was a people pleaser. So I feel like if my friends are, you know, um, hindi nila sinasabi mga important secrets or I, what I think is an important secret, I feel like I'm missing out and they're intentionally leaving me out of the picture, you know, letting me... Um, you know, erasing me out of the equation or something. So that can really upset me and that can really make me feel like you betrayed me already. And ganun siyang level na magagalit ako, magkakaroon tayo ng problema. So ngayon that I've heard or learned about the let them theory, it gave me more of like an understanding. Kaya, na, kaya yun nangyayari because... It happens for a reason. You let them do that, and it will somehow and slowly reveal to you what kind of you know friends they are or people they are. So, yun yung isa sa mga magandang learnings ng let them theory. So, that's what I think about let them theory. It actually gives you more of a peaceful feeling. Just letting them go, letting all of these things happen without you intervening and controlling it just let them pe let people be diba mas madali yon sa buhay natin instead of us you know trying to fight the flow if you can just let go 
it will be less stressful for you. Sorry about that. My dog is barking, but I need to film this. It will be less stressful for you and it will be less stressful for the people around you as well. Of course, I don't think people also would like to be around a control freak, diba? So if you are like me, who were once like me, struggling when it comes to you know, controlling things, um, just wanting things to go always the way you want to go, like the way you envision it to be, just apply le the let them theory. It will make our lives a lot, lot easier. So, ayun, ako, I apply this sa friends ko, sa lahat, sa buhay ko. So, for example, if my friends didn't tell me a secret and I just heard about it from another friend na, Uy, si ganito, she said this, she said that, he said this, he said that. And then I, I said, oh, hindi ko po yun alam, um, hindi niya yun nasabi. Then I just let go. Hindi na ako nag-effort na... Uh, magkaroon ng bad feeling towards that friend kung hindi niya sinabi then I don't think I, I should be concerned about it it's not my story to tell so and it's not a story that I should know if that friend said that I should know I should not know about it then I let them hindi na ako yung argue para sa spot na yan kung ayaw mo ako maging friend or kung sa tingin mo this is the only level of friendship that we have I let you do that. Ganun lang tayo para mas mas magaan ang buhay and you don't need to worry about things that will actually not matter five years from now. You know, if you will be pondering on these little things, five years from now, will it matter? Will it give you the value of life that you need five years from now? If the answer is no, let them. However, 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 fam, Mel Robbins gave us, um, like, parang, she drew a fine line. Kung kailan tayo mag apply ng let them theory and when should we reclaim our spot or um, gain power, okay, um, to gain control over things. So there are three things that we should step up. Okay, three scenarios that she thinks we need to step up. Because, of course, the let them theory is not stepping up. It's just letting go, right? So, we don't want, na hindi naman lahat ng scenarios applicable si let them theory. So, what are the three scenarios she created or she shared na she thinks hindi magandang i-apply ang let them theory? So, number one, she said, when you are in danger or when someone is harassing you or discriminating you, then you should step up. You have to reclaim that power. Of course, do not let them harass you. Let them discriminate you. Let them, you know, cause danger to you. So, if you think you're in this scenario, please step up. Please fight for your right. Please, um protect your 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 image whatever you need to protect um reclaim that do not apply the let them fury another scenario she mentioned is um it's best to advocate for yourself if someone's putting you down making you feel little making you feel less valuable never let them do that you have to step up so step up and you know, prove that they're wrong if it's needed or show them who you really are, show your strengths, show your capabilities if needed. So again, never ever let other people let you down or dull your sparkle. Advocate for yourself. That is very important. And the last one, she said, is crossing boundaries. If someone is walking all over you, and again, causing so much, you know, chaos and making you feel worthless and other people are already creating that narrative for you that you are worthless, that you don't mean anything, you are less valuable, you are invalid, invalidating your feelings and all, step up. So those are the scenarios wherein the let them theory should not be applied. 
So, di ba? It's just so liberating. It's just so fun to know about these new concepts that we probably have learned or know. We are aware of this for sure. We just don't know certain like yung mga strategies, yung mga gantong technical na bagay where we can apply the let them theory and we should not apply the let them theory. So again, the next time you feel like you're being too controlling, may it be with your partner, friends, family, especially when it comes to deciding things, uh, or probably, you know, not so big things, hala, no na mga things that will not matter five years from now, just let them, okay? If your kids would like to do something and you think it will not harm them naman, if you allow them, let them. If you think that, there are certain lessons in life na kailangan nila matutunan on their own even though you know for a fact that the lesson has been learned now on your end, on your, you know, lifespan and that particular person hasn't learned it yet, let him or her. Ganun talaga ang buhay. There are certain things that they should also go through para matuto. So, yun, ganun din ako. I don't let, um, I don't, um, control things anymore. If you don't want to do what I have suggested, I'll let you do it. Go. If you don't agree with me, go. But again, do not ever let anyone trample you down or, you know, walk all over you, make you feel worthless. That's the time you have to stop applying the let them theory. Ayun, I hope you learned something fun and new in this video. I really am so excited to talk about the Let Them Theory with you because I know it's valuable. It's going to add value to our lives. And I hope you can reflect on the scenarios we're in. You can apply the Let Them Theory. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next video. Bye!